Hey, how's it going today? What's going on YouTube? This is uh, Eric again with Markland Designs and I'm gonna be doing a quick little video on speaker adapters, different materials, uh, why I don't use uh, MDF wood anymore, and just various materials like ABS, HDPE plastic, uh, PVC, and even acrylic adapters, and just some of the benefits of these adapters uh, router bits that you might want to use when using these adapters or making these adapters and just some of the benefits. So uh, let's get started. All right, so look what we have here. We have a uh, Toyota uh, six by nine inch to six and a half inch adapter. This was pulled out of a client's car and I just kept it for this video's purposes. Uh, you can see that after time, things like MDF, they really don't belong indoors. Uh, I know sometimes people say you can you know, put uh, resin on them or a bed liner, um, and you can, but there's a downside to that. Once you drill into the actual wood, you see we had these four holes, it's no longer a seal. So these holes can allow moisture to get in. Uh, these adapters here, they just left them bare um, and as you can see at the time, they start to split, come apart, just because uh, wood isn't a material that I would ever recommend putting inside of a door. Uh, the manufacturers don't use wood, and I wouldn't recommend it either. Um, that's just me personally. I know some people uh, stand by MDF adapters, um, just not me. So, uh, I made copy, I made a, I have my own six by nine copy. So I have a couple here. We're gonna move this six by nine uh, wood right away and just talk about some of the various different materials. So here we have a template. This is a eighth inch ABS. Now you can make, you know, a thicker version of this. ABS is really, really strong, durable. Uh, you can get it eighth inch, uh, quarter inch, half inch. I've seen ABS all the way to one inch. Uh, one of the downsides of ABS, um, unlike some of the woods, and you know, this is just a personal opinion, but uh, sometimes with the ABS, when you're routing it, it can have a tendency to chatter. So if you're gonna use ABS on the router table, uh, I always recommend rough cutting. Uh, you can rough cut to about an eighth inch around and you won't have, you know, chatter. But that's really kind of the one downside to it. And ABS isn't uh, cheap at all, especially when you get into like half inch ABS. I mean, you're looking at a hundred bucks plus for a full sheet. Uh, you can get it cut down to two by fours, but it's still you know pretty pricey at most of your local composite and plastic stores. And then we have another plastic here, which is a HDPE. This also like ABS is something that you want to rough cut. Uh, HDPE chatters a lot if you don't rough cut it. Um, and then we have another here is HD, I'm sorry, not HD, this is HDPE, this is PVC. This is what I use the majority of the time. Uh, this is a Toyota Lexus 6x9 that I actually, this is actually one of mine. And you can see here with, uh, it's waterproof. So you won't have any issues like you would, uh, like with the wood here. And the HDPE and ABS is uh, waterproof and weather resistant as well. Um, the ones I do, I always, you know, have the threaded inserts for the screws here. And I always have foam around the speakers. So it gets a really good seal. Same with the back. I always foam back all around here so it seals against the door really well so even if you're using a sound editing material like a sound skins uh dynamat stinger roadkill you still want to have that extra foam material to where it presses up against it and it gets a really good seal and lastly we have another version here which is uh, acrylic <clears throat> this is a uh, like your standard clear acrylic it's just been painted black um, same thing here, I use an uh, acrylic cement. This is two separate pieces. We have the base here, and then we have the ring piece. Uh, this is just your regular cast uh, acrylic. 
and works really, really well. Just like with the ABS, the acrylic is a lot more expensive, uh, especially when you get into like your half inch acrylics and three quarter inch acrylics, it's very, very costly. Um, and then we're gonna talk about two of the router bits, uh, some of the spirals that I'd recommend using. Um, this is an Armana uh, plastic bit. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, this one here is really, really good for your acrylics um, and even your, you know, your plastics as far as like your PVC, HDPE, and your ABS. And then we have another one here. This one is uh, from 12 Volt Tools. Uh, and this is our mono bit. We got this from uh, Mobile Solutions. Uh, both of these bits you can pick up online. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, whoever you prefer to go to or go with. Uh, but these are really, really nice bits. Uh, generally, you're going to spend anywhere from maybe 50 to 70 bucks, depending on the bit. Uh, but they do a really, really nice job of cutting through your acrylics, your PVCs, HDPEs, and ABSs really, really well. Um, like I said, you can tell by the, the shearing pattern or the cutting pattern on the bit that they do a really, really good job. I mean, super, super sharp. I need to clean this one off, but you know, you get the gist of what I'm saying. This one here is really, really nice. I'm getting in focus. I mean, look at that. It's a beauty. Cuts really, really nice. Really, really clean. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, I would just, you know, definitely recommend kind of staying away from your MDF speaker adapters. I mean, this is what happens after a few months. Uh, the client said they had them in the car. Uh, new speakers, four months. And the uh, component set was a $499 component set. So, I mean, you spend 500 bucks uh, in your car for a nice set of uh, components and this is what you have them screwed to. So, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it at all. But, uh, yeah. So, like I said, these are your options. Um, personally, like I said, ABS, it's really nice. Uh, this is a thin template. But, uh, like I said, you definitely want to go with something that's like quarter or half. I would probably recommend half inch at the minimum. Um, and then you have to have your HDPE, which is a really, really nice plastic. Um, but one of the downsides is that you can't really bond them together. Um, just the way the, the plastic or composite is made. Normally, if you have a bottom layer and you want to add a second ring to space it, you're going to have to thread it and screw them together. Uh, using things like a cement or a CA glue, it's not going to bond. Um, there are oils inside of this plastic that just won't allow it to bond. Uh, PVC, you can definitely bond it. They actually have a PVC cement. You can just scuff it. You can either use the cement or CA glue. Uh, you can use the CA glue. I just prefer the cement because it's more of a, it's a chemical bond and it bonds those two pieces together. Uh, this is done with uh, actual PVC cement. So, I mean, you're not gonna, this is not gonna break apart. The same thing with the acrylic. They actually have an acrylic cement that uh, you can use to bond the two pieces together. Uh, you can find that online. I think, uh, I'm trying to think of the name. What I'll do is I'll put a link in the bottom for some good uh, acrylic cements. And yeah, that's it. Like I said, these are what I would recommend uh, putting in a, in a vehicle. Acrylic. PVC, HTPE, or ABS. So we're gonna definitely step our game up for 2018 and 2019 and stop using MDF rings. So uh, like I said, I hope this helps out. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to message me. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook on the Markland Designs. Have a great day, take care.